Welcome back to Firestorm Games and another episode of The Hobby Table, where we'll be showing you how to quickly paint the new Sylvaneth Endless Spells from Age of Sigmar, and we'll be using the Citadel range of paints to do so. The first step in painting is to prime so that the later layers of paint properly stick to the surface of the model. As you can see, I've chosen to use the Grey Seer for this task, due to the fact that we'll be making extensive use of the new contrast paints. The light coloration of this primer will not only help the contrast paints do their job, but also serve as the basic colour of our vengeful skull root. Once primed, our first task is to dry brush everything with some white scar. To dry brush, load up a large brush with some paint and drag it across a piece of paper or tissue so any little paint remains in the bristles. Then quickly drag the brush over your surfaces, which will cause the paint to accumulate on the hard edges and details, boosting the definition. By ensuring that your brush is ever so slightly damp during this process, you should get a smoother overall finish. Now that each of our miniatures have been dry brushed, we can begin to apply our contrast paints. The first of these is Skeleton Horde, and this will be used straight from the pot over the skeletons tangled in the roots of the Vengeful Skull Root. The paint will accumulate in the recesses, providing shading whilst also giving the surfaces a bleached bone colour. The contrast paint will also complement our earlier dry brushing by pulling away from the harder edges, creating a simple edge highlight. For the mud-stained roots of the skull root, we want to use some snake bite leather. To give us a little more variation here, I've mixed a little contrast medium in with my paint and applied this thin coat up to the bottom of the tree trunk. After this, I then used some more snake bite leather straight from the pot on the bottoms of these roots. This created a transition from the dark brown at the bottom of the tree, which progressively became lighter as it moved upwards. For the areas of broken ground around the base of the glade worm and the rock on the spite swarm hive, I have applied a layer of basilicanum grey. For the green vines around the hive and also the leaves that litter the base of the glade worm, I'll be making use of some militarum green. To paint the dark wood colour of the hive and the branches of the glade worm's base, I'll be using Saigal Brown to create the dark wood appearance. Take care at this stage not to overspill onto your lighter coloured areas, as you will need to reapply the grey sear and contrast paint in order to fix it. Continuing with the skull root, we will next be painting the leaves sprouting from the tree branches. These areas can be very effectively painted using some Griff Hound Orange, creating an autumnal colour that will contrast nicely against the white bark of the tree. For the various glowing light blue areas of each of the miniatures, I'll be applying some ethematic blue over them. The result after being applied over the grey sear will be one of a ghostly blue. The final area to paint is the carapace of the Glade Worm, and this can be finished off with a layer of Ultramarine's Bloom. Make sure to spread out your application here as to avoid any pooling or tide marks on the flat areas of the armour. And here we have the finished Sylvaneth Endless Spells that have been based with some textured paints and some static grass. If you enjoyed this quick guide to getting your Endless Spells painted up and ready for gaming in as little time as possible, then please do let us know in the comments below. And if you have any suggestions for future tutorials, let us know those as well. You can find this kit and all of the paints used in this video on the Firestorm Games web store for at least 10% off the RRP, and you can find a link to the site in the description below. And so we just want to finish off by saying a big thank you for watching this video, and we hope to see you again on Firestorm Games.